Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome to Arsenal Fan TV and today I am previewing the upcoming game against Middlesbrough in the FA Cup at the Emirates Stadium. This game is going to be massive. Middlesbrough come into the fixture on the back of a 2-0 victory at the Etihad Stadium. They proved so many people wrong and it wasn't just the fact that they scraped by by two goals. They were so convincing in that game. They made a very good C defence look bang average. As well as that, they defended resiliently against the likes of Sergio Aguero. And they've shown that they're going to go into this game. They could potentially be ruthless. I don't want they, They're going to get a bit between the teeth. That's what I'm trying to say. As well as that, they can play some very, very good football. The last thing we want, uh, just let me get uh, address this first. Let me get out of the way. The last thing we want is a replay in midweek. That would be absolutely horrible for us. It's just another opportunity for us to pick up injuries away from home to Middlesbrough at the other end of the country. It's going to be incredibly difficult for us to really cope with that. As well as the other fixtures that we've got, the Champions League is coming back into action now. And it's a vital stage in the Premier League for us when we're trying to get top four, competing with Tottenham Hotspur, Man United, Liverpool, etc. to get a top four finish. So the last thing we want is a replay in this game. Middlesbrough can't be underestimated, like I've already mentioned. They got the 2-0 victory at the Etihad Stadium. And they could have gone on to win that by three or four goals. They were actually that good in that, in that game. And um, as well as that, they're flying high at the top of the championship table on 59 points. They've recently got there and they've worked very hard for it. I mean, if I'm being honest, I don't actually know a lot about Middlesbrough. The most recent memories I've got of them are Jeremy Aliadier and Gareth Southgate. So that really tells you how much I know about them. But considering that they're doing well in the championship, really shows that they've been playing some good football this season. And they're ready for a battle to get back into the top flight of English football. I mean, it's been so long that since they were in the Premier League. I think when I was younger, they were certainly a renowned club in the Premier League. And the team that I actually really enjoyed seeing play. I remember when they put something like eight goals past Manchester City, which seems like an absolute age ago, but actually wasn't that long ago in terms of football. But um, yeah, I mean, it's going to be a good game. It'll be good to see them come to the Emirates Stadium, and it should be a fairly a fairly good fixture. I'm thoroughly looking forward to Middlesbrough. The players that we've got to identify, I think, Patrick Bamford, the on-loan Chelsea player, banging in goals left, right, and centre for Middlesbrough. I think he's got something like nine goals in 21 games, and he's really starting to come into form for them. As well as that, the player who's scoring a load of goals from midfield, Grant Ledbitter, probably said his name wrong, apologies if I have, but that's a player that we've got to identify, and those are certainly some of their key goal scorers and influential players at the moment. So if we close them down, if Coughlin can take those players out of the game, then I think we'll do just fine in terms of coping with their attacking threats. But it's a defence that I'm concerned about, not just ours, but theirs, trying to get past it. They def Because they defended so well against City, I would hope with Kozula, Ozil, Sanchez, if he plays, Rosicki, um, Giroud, Welbeck going forward, we should be able to get a couple of goals in this game. But they've shown in that game against City that they can cope with high-profile players going forward and they can defend, defend well. So it's vital that we do get a couple of goals in this game. An early goal would be exactly what we need. It would be the perfect scenario. But just regarding our own defensive setup at the moment, a couple of things I just want to outline. Hector Bellerin, I don't want to lay into him, but in, that, in the past two games, he's been caught out of position, he's been caught wandering a couple of times now, it's vital that he gets his act together in this fixture, he's great going forward, he's an exciting prodigy, but this is an area of his game that's got to be disciplined in this fixture, if he does play, he's got to address that, maybe we'll see Chambers come into the frame of things, Gabriel making his debut, Wenger has said that is a possibility, the one gripe that I've got with that, I do want to see him start, I'll be honest, in the, in the lineup that I've got for this, I do want to see him feature in it, but the only slight issue I've got with it, is if he can't speak English properly, then is it a risk that we really want to take in our, mo in our most realistic chance of winning a trophy this season? The, speaking English in a back line that's going to have to defend again, against decent attacking players, a side that's doing very well in the championship, it's, it's a big, big risk. I'd hope that he has some decent level of understanding and communication between the players that he'll be lining up with, but if he doesn't, then I personally wouldn't risk him. But like I say... Wenger obviously knows how he's performing in training and if he, if he thinks that he's ready to play then I'm going to trust his judgement in that and like I've said I do want to see him put in the Arsenal 11 um, and I have got him in the 11 that I'm going to predict in a moment as well as that Wojciech Szczesny a player that I haven't really talked about in the time that since he's been caught smoking at Southampton at the start of the year I haven't really addressed the issue of him and Ospina coming into the team and playing really well but the thing with it is Ospina's well, played so well, he's overshadowed Chesney, but is he the number one at the moment? Yeah, he is, but Chesney's the one wearing the number one jersey. I mean, that, that might not mean a lot to a lot of people, but he has cemented a place as the Arsenal first choice shot stopper for many, many years now. And we're starting to identify some weaknesses 
in Ospina. Certainly the parrying thing, that's going to become an issue if he doesn't sort it out. And shows he's got to come back into the team at some point. In this game, I feel it's a very good opportunity for him, but he's got to take it. In the game against Brighton, where we won 3-2 away at the MX, he wasn't convincing, I'll be brutally honest. And I didn't, don't think he warranted a place to get back into the team for the following fixture. And Ospina rightly kept his place in the side. Chesney was poor. He let in two sloppy goals and he can't do that in this game. Of course, maybe he'll be a little bit rusty. He's not getting game time, but he's a professional keeper on a five-figure wage sum. I'd expect him to be keeping a clean sheet in this game. And it's vital for his personal confidence and self-belief that he does do that. But that's just my thoughts on that topic. The Arsenal line that I want to see in full is Vojic Chesney in goal, Hector Bellerin, Gabriel Koscielny, Kieran Gibbs, Francis Coughlin, Thomas Rzitzki, Fair Walcott, Mazza Ozil, Danny Welbeck, and Olivier Giroud. Now, obviously, the first thing that I've left out, Santa Cazorla, he's been playing so well for us. Why have you dropped him? Well, the first thing is, I think he's becoming knackered, first and foremost. I thought in that game against Leicester, he was really failing to get involved in the game at times, as well as that, I think that the spaces he wants to get into are being occupied obviously by the return of Mazza Ozil and that's stuttering his play in the game so I wouldn't play Kazura in this one I think if he is going to start he has to play without Mazza Ozil in the team so that's one way you've got to look at it play Kazula through the middle drop Ozil or play Ozil through the middle Danny Welbeck on the left hand side another thing that's a little bit controversial in this if, if Sanchez is fit and if he's ready to play play him but in the game against Leicester he didn't look ready he didn't look fit and he was failing to have an impact on the game so I'd go with Danny Welbeck on the left hand side he's going to add pace and agility and stamina to that flank and then we'll have Theo Walcott on the right hand side loads of pace bombing forward Olivier Giroud up top hopefully to bang goals in or possibly Tuber Akpomstein he's a player that has looked really exciting for us when he's whenever he's played for us he got the penalty against Aston Villa and worked really hard for that and he does overall look like a very exciting prodigy and I would potentially like to see him start I mean a front three of Welbeck, Akpom and Walcott is something that excites me loads of pace bombing forward with Mazza Ozil playing in behind he's got loads of off the ball runners and it should be an absolute field day for him but I mean I just do just do want to address that Kazula Ozil thing I don't want to think of it as dropping Kazula I just want if we're going to get the best out of these players we've got to play them in their right positions or don't play them at all. Because when you play them out of position, in my eyes, it wastes the position. I think in the game against Aston Villa, it works because we were playing against a poor, poor, poor Villa side. But this Borough team is going to be up for it. For them, this is their cup final. They're not going to go to many places like that, like uh, the Emirates this season, unless they get promoted, of course. But it, it is a massive game, one we must win. I don't particularly want too many risks to be taken. I would go with a very strong Arsenal line. I'd possibly bring Chambers into the side as well possibly for Hector Bellerin, but regarding Chambers, I think he plays a lot a lot better at centre-half than, um, than uh, at right-back, and I don't really want to see a Chambers-Gabriel partnership, because of course Chambers is quite young, he's still gaining experience, and Gabriel isn't the most fluent in English, and I highly doubt that Chambers can speak the language that um, Gabriel is accustomed with, so that's that's uh, that's the team I want to see, a, lot of a little bit of rotation in the side, I want to see Kieran Gibbs come in for Nacho Monreal, Gibbs Another player that's got to try and cement a place in the starting eleven, And how great is it to finally have depth in the Arsenal team? It's something that we haven't really been used to as Arsenal fans. But now we've got a very good squad at our disposal. Jack Wilshere, didn't even mention him, forgot Jack Wilshere, is coming back into the Arsenal team. He could possibly make the bench for this game. It would be great to see that. Of course, he's coming under controversy because he's been caught smoking yet again. He's really got to sort his acts out. Really got to decide if he's going to really take his football career seriously at some point. I want to see him do well at Arsenal. He's got to remain injury-free. He's got to stop smoking and doing stupid things like that. And he's got to try and get in this Arsenal team. With Aaron Ramsey out of the side for up to two weeks to a month, he's got an opportunity to do that. I don't think he'll start this game, but if he makes the bench, he'll be good for his confidence. It shows that Wenger's putting faith in him. And hopefully, in the coming weeks, we will see a bit more from Jack Wilshere and a lot more from this Arsenal team. It was unconvincing against Leicester. The defeat to Spurs was unacceptable and we've got to be putting things right with a big win against Middlesbrough. I'm hoping for a victory. I'll take it any way it comes really. I don't really care if it's a big win or not. As long as we get the win and we progress into the next round of the FA Cup, the trophy that we have to win this season. Anyway guys, my thought, those have been my thoughts on Arsenal's upcoming fixture in the FA Cup against Middlesbrough. If you have enjoyed the video, do give it a like, rate and subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV. Do check out my own channel, AFC Game by Game. And I'll speak to you soon, guys. I cannot get over Spurs. I just cannot get over it. What you can know, we do to get you over Spurs? I haven't slept for two, three days. <laughs>